Hey guys, uh, so in this tutorial series, uh, there will be two parts. So this first part, I'll be showing you how to model the body and face of a character like this. This exact character, in fact. And I'll be showing you how to do it all through MakeHuman and Blender. There was no other softwares involved when modeling this character. It was all just done in-house through Blender and using MakeHuman. Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the tutorial and if this was useful at all in any way in teaching you guys how to better use MakeHuman. Hey guys, welcome to a Hobby Hunt tutorial series. So this series will be designing your own characters from scratch. Um, so I'm going to take you guys through my processes of designing different characters for Blender. And uh, first things first that you need is some reference photos. So once you have got your reference photo in your scene, uh, then we're not actually going to do much else in Blender. So now we're going to open MakeHuman. And uh, let's make sure we save everything. I'm just going to call this Elf. Priestess and am I in the right thing? Blender Creations. Okay. So now let's all open Make Human. Okay, here we are in Make Human. And if you're not familiar with this program, I'll put a link in the description. Basically, all this does is it's a more simplified way of creating a character. And usually, uh, the base models characters that you can make through MakeHuman aren't the most detailed, but you can do miraculous things in Blender to make it a more detailed model, which you will see toward the end of this uh, video. Um, so here's what we're going to do. First off, we're making a girl. So, make her all the way girl. And uh, it looked to me like we're going to have kind of a... somewhere around a teenager to a very young adult. Uh, let's see, we don't need a whole lot of muscle. And my vibe I got from the photo, and just elves in general, I feel like I'm, I'm going to go for a very tall, skinny character. So, kind of a stylized look of just very tall and skinny. So here's the height, I can mess with that a little bit. And I'm going to go super tall. Yeah, something like that. And proportions. So, something that is good to note is, uh, well, first off, women have their shoulders a little closer together. I'm not going to mess with the proportions too much. And, yeah, let's go with something like that for now. So, uh, before I get too far on this, I'm going to actually end up saving this make human model. I know that's kind of crazy, but. Everything you do, you just kind of want to save a lot because you never know what's going to happen. So, I'm going to just call this Elf Priestess. And we're going to save that. Let's change the pose actually real fast to the T pose. Because that's what we're going to be working with in Blender. Um, yeah, don't stress too much about the modeling for this because you can make adjustments in Blender, but it helps you in Blender to get as close as possible while doing the making model. Let me thin this character up a bit first because I kind of want to see what we're working with on our odd skinny elven shape. And I'll probably end up making those legs her even skinnier and longer in Blender, but that's fine for now. And let's make her breast size a little larger, but not th nothing too crazy. That is not too crazy. And we're going to move them up. And I think we're going to move them just a little closer together like that for now. Okay, let's see. Anything else? So I'm going to... Her arms, to me, are very obviously too thick. And that's something we can take care of in Blender, but it'll just make it easier if I can mess with it a little here. Here, let's make sure we turn on Symmetry up here. And then it'll actually change both sides instead of just one. 
so she doesn't look too monstrous. And let's go to the arm and can mess with the different thickness levels and I can't even see what that is doing. It's probably this view up here that is messing with. Oh yeah. So the whole vibe is skinny so I'm just going to keep everything kind of skinny um, where I can. And I think muscle is still good though to have even for skinny character. So we're going to keep that right here. We can mess it with the thickness. And I I just kind of winged that because I wasn't really... I think we'll want something like that. And a really skinny arm right here. And I think... I know it's looking kind of weird probably to you guys so far, but that's not too bad right now. I think we need to make her a little, those legs a little taller. So I'm going to go to the legs. And also while we're at it, we're going to add some muscle definition to those legs. Like make it skinny because that's what we're going for. And make the calf a little fatter. So where is our calf? Lower leg muscle, there we go. So let's give that some some definition right there. And once I lengthen that up, hopefully it won't look quite just so buff. And so I think when you're doing this, I already know what I need to do in Blender to make this character look more normal. Um, and so right now you guys are probably thinking like, oh my gosh, what is he thinking with all these different sliders he's doing? But I promise in the end, it's going to be totally worth it. You just have to stick to it. And then when you guys have a little bit more practice, you'll know what sliders to do that would just help your character look a little bit better. But for now, these are kind of the sliders I think make your character look better. Now I think we need... So I like my characters to have their knees in a little bit when I'm modeling them. And we are also going to, oh, there we go. Give that a little bit more strength, some muscle tone. And we need it this way too. Let's see, it looks like it's messing with this side. So let's, and I don't think that's too much. I think that that's fine for now. Um, so one thing I think I'm going to do is make those calves just longer and so I think to do that it's kind of a weird one let's see just legs and then you can do the lower leg height we're gonna do something kind of like that and I think I'm gonna give those calves a little bit more definition now that I did that I can see I need to give them a little bit more muscle mass and let's see what the muscle, that's not bad, just a little muscle around that leg. And if you ever feel like this is just too much muscle, um, you can tone it back a little bit. Usually I find that it's better to err on the side of too much, because then you can take it back in Blender. Um, okay, so let's see. Yeah, I want her calves to be... Different. I think it might be this one. Yeah, so we're going to make that more pronounced. That's too pronounced. I think that's a little bit more pronounced right there. Let's see what this guy does. Just out of pure. Okay. Yeah, I think we're kind of. Picking up on the vibe here. So, a couple more things you gotta mess with, just if you want a good kind of stylized character. But we are going for... Going for a different vibe this time around. I think we still need to do it. So we're gonna take her cheeks, and we're gonna make them a little bit bigger. So we're gonna grab 
over in torso and go to buttocks. And we're going to plump that guy up. And again, sink it back in Blender if you feel the need. But so far, this is all looking pretty good. This is going to make my job a lot easier in Blender. Um, okay, I kind of think we might be ready. Just out of pure curiosity, uh, because she is going to be like lankier and skinnier, um, I'm going to check out to see what the topologies I could do are, which I have to find topologies. Here they are. So she's, she's going to be kind of a skinny character, so I wonder if more of a muscle tone would look better for her or worse for her. <laughs> Probably worse, so we're going to say none still. Um, okay. So there's a couple things we need to add with this. So let's take a quick peek at our reference photo. Okay, her eyes are like shining, so I'm not going to worry too much about the eyes. Uh, her eyebrows, I think we're going to have to do custom. So I'm not going to worry about that, but we are going to steal, I think, some eyelashes. Yeah, I think we're going to take some eyelashes. We're not going to have them actually be that thick. We might give her a couple of our own hairs in the end. So I'm going to have them be like just a very subtle eyelash if that's possible and make human. So let's see. Eyelashes. And oh yeah, those might be a little too subtle though. Those are just like nasty looking. Those look nice. Because, so, just so you guys can see, you can get very big with the eyelashes. But, in the end, I think that's kind of a nice looking one that would look good. And that's really all we need, I think. I think we're ready to take this guy into Blender and kind of fix it up a little bit. So now we're going to go to File and Export. I recommend having a Character Skin folder. Just, in the end, I think it will... Uh, help a lot more to keep everything a little bit more organized. Alright, so everybody, when you export, make sure and export it as an FBX. Uh, and make sure it's in decimeters, and all the other settings should be kind of like in the right spot already. The reason why you do FBX is, for some reason, and I can't tell you why, uh, for the Blender EV subsurface scattering, so like when the light hits the skin, it reacts more normally for F an FBX file than e a uh, DAE file. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't. Maybe if someone knows, I'd love to hear the reason why that is. So leave a comment if you know that. Okay, so make sure you export it as an FBX. And we are going to export. There we go. So now let's see if that worked for our Blender file. We're going to import FBX, Blender Creations, Character, Elf Character, Import. So, good. She's massive, but she's supposed to be massive. That's the whole idea. Uh, this will make it so cloth sims will work a lot better, which I use a lot of cloth sims when I do my modeling. Uh, so... Yeah, you're going to want to have... That's why the decimeter uh, characteristic is so important. So let's see how she turned out. Yeah, that's good. She just doesn't have anything. She's just, she's just normal. We're going to take this light just so we can see what we're doing for a smidge. And I'm going to save my file because I don't want to lose anything. And let's... Sorry, just getting my scene kind of set up so I can... Do everything a little easier in the end. So I can kind of see what's going on. So I'm going to turn up this light uh, to like 2000. Same with this guy. And let's move those up. Wubbing. Move this down. So this is already 
I'm I'm pretty happy honestly with just the Make Human. I this is one of my better ones I've had, I think. And so it just shows me Make Human can do pretty good. I didn't really mess with the face cuz that is just easier to do in Blender, I think in the end. Um but yeah, I I'm pretty happy with that mesh. So one thing that does happen when you import an FBX from um Make Human is for whatever reason on every single material, the metallic will be up all the way. Same with the specular and the roughness. So you're going to want to mess with, usually specular, I even kind of like being up anyway, so not a big deal. Uh, except for eyelashes. It can make them look a lot worse. And we're going to take down the metallic and the roughness. We're just going to have right where it probably should be. So... You're going to really see the difference when I take down the metallic on the character. And let's take down the roughness a bit. And yeah, we like specular usually, so I'm going to leave the specular up. But as you can see, everything's kind of making a big difference. So now to just do the same with the eyes. Eyes, you still kind of want to be specular, but... I recommend taking the roughness all the way down because it gives you a nice glisten on the eyes when you're doing this. Okay, so now that we got our, all of our uh, materials kind of fixed from the stuff that happened from our import, now let's try and work on the body a little bit. So the first thing I think you'll need to do is, as you can see, it is a pretty rigid model. That's because Make Human, I don't think it's necessarily meant for high detail characters uh it's more for stand-in characters and it's amazing at doing what it's for but it's you're gonna have to mess with the mesh just a smidge so all we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our modifiers a subdivision surface modifier and boom she already looks much better as you can see we're gonna save that and now I'm going to show you guys uh, kind of my process for getting this character looking even better. Pretty happy with it already. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our character and go into sculpting. And so one thing that I can tell, and you guys are probably going to disagree, but I think she needs even longer legs. So for stylized characters, a lot of the times, it's just important to have as long of legs as humanly possible. So I am going to just kind of manually lengthen these guys a bit. And that looks pretty good right there. And now you can see, oh, her knees are way down there. So let's move those knees up and just have them like right there. Maybe a little lower. And I do think her muscles are a little pronounced, so let's take those back. But, you know, other than a couple of these fine-tuned areas, I kind of like the shape of her legs already. Um, I actually think I need to take her legs even higher, though. I'm going to turn this up. We're going to go ham. Not that high, not that high. There we go. Okay, so again, this is for a stylized character. Normal people do not have freakishly long legs, but stylized characters, you can have whatever you want, and I think the stylized character is going to have very long legs. Uh, but we are going to have to tweak them a little bit more now, I think, because we just did all that stuff. So let's make it so it's a little bit more round up here versus the middle Let's get a side view. So you know what is nice about uh, doing this stuff um, inside of Blender is you can give it a couple different muscle tones that are a little nicer looking when you're doing a character like this. So one thing I am going to do real fast, and in, so what the muscle tones I'm talking about is, for instance, I'm going to give her some abs Nothing too bulgy, just like, uh, just a more of a fit look. And then I'm also going to show the hips, because that 
just helps a lot when your character's entering its final stages. But let's also skinny her up just a, a little bit. So I'm going to kind of see what I can do here. I'm going to have to mess with the legs because if you don't skinny up the legs enough, it can just look a little too odd. So she's still going to have ribs. So you got to have enough that it makes sense. And I can see I'm going to take in, I, I think we're going to take in her, her uh, belly a little bit. Yeah, something getting pretty close, something kind of like that. Oh, I liked what we had there, but we missed it. I think we lost it. All right, let's see how we're doing with the pelvis area. I think we got to push this in a little bit from this angle. Okay. And now let's kind of adjust the back. So if you guys have seen uh, the avatar with the blue people, I think that's kind of the vibe that I am going to go for on this character. Is the blue people avatar just that like really long body kind of thing. Uh, but probably not like quite as intense as that one, but pretty close. And her back is just a little much for me up here. So let's turn that back in. And this is all just the grab brush that I've pretty much used so far, by the way. We're going to use a couple of the other brushes, but this is pretty much just our grab brush. So I'm feeling like her arms are a little long for my taste. So let's shorten those a bit. And we're just going to literally grab, we're going to grab like up here. We're going to increase the strength. Let's see if that helps. Yes. Okay. Something like, something like that. So yes, she's looking a little weird so far. Uh, let's see if we can fix that. Um, now I'm going to touch up on her neck. So usually first thing I like to do is do the legs. And that's because I feel like that's kind of what like gives you the look for all the other proportions anyway in the end. So I feel like if I mess with that last, everything else looks kind of funky. So I just basically work from the top up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to mess with the neck just because that feels like a good neck's natural step. So, you almost don't even want to see where the neck begins for a stylized character. Whew, a little too skinny. We're going to go something more like... Something more like that, you know? Kind of take this back a bit. Oh. And up. Up. Kind of a very... As you can see on the character, she has a very pointy jaw. A pointy elven jaw. So let's make sure we get those proportions correct. Um, okay, that's not looking too bad so far. So now what I think we're going to do is I think we're going to mess with the arms. So they're looking a little thick. Let's, let's squat the whole... Not too much. Let's squat that in a bit, though. And then I'm hoping our pinch brush can get us the rest of the way there. So I'm going to pinch right here. No, that didn't quite do it. Let's see. That's doing something. All right, we want right there. We want right there. And I think that in the end, the shoulders are a little much. There you go. So you can kind of see she's taking a little bit more of a stylized character shape. Uh, but that's kind of what we're going for. And you see she's super tall, very long legs. And the arm and legs 
proportions, like if you're looking at a normal person's proportions are different than this. Um, but that's okay. I think usually what looks better is long legs and slightly shorter arms for a character. Uh, so now, let's see. I'm just trying to look to make sure everything is looking kind of okay still. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm actually pretty happy with what we've got going on with this model so far. I, uh, I tend to usually do more edits at this point, but I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot more. What I should probably do is grab our smooth brush and just smooth a couple of areas out. Like, this neck is looking a little weird to me. Uh, it's got some weird lines in it. So that's way too big. We're going to do something more like that and smooth out some of these odd lines that are in the neck. And that is nice because it's kind of giving it more of a natural uh, lead up into the um, shoulder there. And what I like about this brush is it uh, it actually ends up being kind of like a... That's good. Um, it ends up being kind of a... Uh, almost a fill brush. That looks pretty good for a character. I can already tell in the end we're going to want to take face in just a bit like that. Okay. Let's save this, what we got so far. Um, I'm hoping this has given you guys the kind of the vision of what's possible with uh, using MakeHuman. Because, oh boy, it is quite the add-on, I think. I'm going to try and give her some some good muscle stuff now, so we're not going to go too crazy. We're going to down the radius quite a bit. And we're just going to go for some, some subtle abs. And then down here. And then let's give her uh, some, some lines to just really... Whew, those are a little funky let's give them a little over in this area just so it doesn't look too unnatural um okay now we're gonna use our sharp brush and we're just gonna kind of edge this in a little bit let's turn up the strength and turn down the radius and just go in yep Oh, you know what? I need to apply the subdivision service modifier. That's why it's not. There it goes. Now it's acting a little bit more normally. So yes, it doesn't look very good right now, but we're going to use our smoothing. Uh, we're going to use a special brush, and you will see the magic happen. So let's See what happens if we run our smooth brush over certain parts. I'm just going to dab and turn it a little smaller and just go over this just a hair in some of these places. And then look, so as you can see, now you're just, you're just getting some detailed uh, body parts. The abs are still looking a little funny to me. To me, they need to just be almost filled up a little bit with the inflate. Let's turn up the radius on that to just really go for it. And then let's smooth it all one more time. Because we don't want her to just look like jacked. We're just going for a fit uh, female look. And do you see Right here, we've kind of already got sort of a natural uh, curve going on, so that is good. I I am going to just, just a hair, try and just see what that would do if we... 
uh, kind of help this pelvic area out and just do a little line work. So something like that, I think, is what we need. Let's try smoothing it, and if it looks too crazy, we've got our... That's not too bad. All right, so we're, we're kind of working out. Smooth brush is the ultimate brush from what I have learned in my Blender experience. So you see how that details kind of, it, it goes a long way in the end, especially when we're doing lighting because we're going to see all of these uh, interesting details in the character. I'm going to give her some more hip now, just kind of nothing too crazy, just, whew, that was a little crazy, just a little subtle thing right there. I I am going to use the legendary smooth brush, which will help a lot, <laughs> I think, with our massive hips that we've just made. So let's up the radius on that and just dab around there. I'm not even going to just hold it down. I'm just going to dab and see what we can get going. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Let's see if we can just... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold... Yeah, right here where the hip kind of meets the waist. I'm going to hold control and see if we can detail that even more. Mm. Let's see if our legendary smooth will be enough to satisfy me. I don't know. I don't know if I liked it more before or after. I already get I'm kind of seeing, I think she's got a, maybe too much thickness on the thighs still. Maybe we should loosen that up a bit. I'm going to undo a couple steps because we lost all of our work. Now let's hit the grab and I'm going to shrink these ever so slightly. Let's make the hips a little bit bigger and shrink these down and see how that would look. And in here too. We, and I, I want to be able to see where the knees are, so we're going to move in uh, her legs as needed to be able to actually see her knees. Whew. Let's see. I have to just move it back. She's, I think she's, we got to tone back these, these very buff legs a bit. All right, we're getting closer, I think. Okay, let's take the legendary smooth brush. Let's kind of go over some of those areas that we were just messing with because don't want it to look too weird. All right, I like what we're getting so far. We are going to smooth in here a little bit just because it's looking a little strong. But yes, thus far, we're getting kind of a nice looking character. Let's uh, take back her bum a little bit. Can mess with it. And let's raise it, it up because I can see the bum doesn't quite make sense with the back where it's at right now. Okay, something kind of like that. But probably let's let's see what the deflate would do to such a such a thing. So that's looking pretty good. 
Maybe a little too much. Okay. Now you guys are probably thinking I'm a huge perv for trying to touch up these different parts of the butt, but that's what you got to do. Now I can see. I think we just got to... I actually think our inflate tool is going to be our secret. We're going to inflate this a little bit. Just a smidge. Okay. Let's kind of see how that ends up. Let's take our legendary smooth brush. And smooth that, that hump down. Okay, you guys see that's kind of taking a little bit of more shape now. Okay, I am pretty happy with what we have so far. I think now we need to detail the arms a little bit more. So let's take a look at those. And I'm also going to give her just a smidge more calf before I forget. This is a stylized character, so if you're thinking it's too much exactly how much I want to have okay yeah let's let's kind of go with that let's see and plus I like calf because it it just helps you see where those knees are I want to see the knee See the knee. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go with let's go with that. I'm gonna save so far. Kind of check things out from a different lighting with actual shadows. I'm I'm pretty happy with our make human so far. Hey guys, congratulations on finishing part one of this tutorial series. Uh, so hit that like and subscribe. Great work making it this far. And click the, the link to see part two, which will be sculpting the face.